Alright guys, I'm going to show you a simplified wiring diagram for a four wire smoke detector. The way I have always um, wired them up, different technicians um, wire them up differently I've seen on the field, see in the field. Um, but the way I've done it, like over here in the diagram, has always passed with the fire marshal, always passed inspection, never had an issue with it. Um, I've looked online, you don't really, it's kind of weird because the smoke detector wiring, you know, a duct smoke detector coming from a package unit or even a split unit in a commercial application, you don't see too much wiring diagrams online, um, surprisingly. So I decided to go ahead and uh, give you guys a little simplified uh, wiring diagram here, um, especially for any new techs that are working on some commercial stuff. So over here, we have our rooftop, you got your smoke detector, and you got your thermostat. Here at the rooftop, we know transformer, our transformer provides 24 volt to R and C. What you're going to do is you're going to run, I run uh, an 8 wire conductor from the rooftop to the smoke detector, and I'm only using 4 of those wires. The other four stay for, for spares. One of the four wires I'm running, um, I'm stealing power at, at the R terminal strip at the rooftop. And I'm going up to typically, most smoke detectors are going to use 9 and 10 are going to be your 24 volt input to power up the, the detector. So 24 volt R goes to 9, common goes to 10. That's what powering up the uh, smoke detector and then what we're going to do is we're going to put a jumper between terminal 9 and 6 which is common and typically you're going to have a normally closed or normally open switch to 6 and we use the normally closed switch which is labeled number typically number 16 and then 16 we're passing it back out to R at the thermostat so we're breaking R at the thermostat and then, of course, you have your ground. So one wire is going to go to 9. The other wire is going to 10, which is your R and C. Your third wire is coming from 16. And then your fourth is your ground. Um, so to kind of summarize it here, we're following the 24-volt circuit. We're going 24-volt coming out the transformer directly, powering it up. So current is going between 9 and 10 powering up the board at all the time at all times it's always hot and we're jumpering 24 volts to 6 so this is always hot over here assuming the smoke detector is not tripped due to smoke 24 volts passes over here to the 16 16 goes out back out to R at the thermostat and all this will be right here at the rooftop, because you got your you got your your wires coming from the stat, you got your wires coming from the smoke detector. So you just wire nut them together, breaking R to the thermostat. So <clears throat> in an issue where in a situation where uh, there is smoke and the unit needs to shut down, 24 volts comes from the transformer, powering up nine and ten. 24 volts comes to six, and this opens up. Because the, the the smoke detector is now in an alarm state, and this interrupts 24 volt power passing to the thermostat. So the thermostat's calling for cooling or heating or fan operation. It's not going to get any juice going over there. So just an easy, simplified version of it. Um, it's a cheese little schematic, but I guess it, it it'll do the job. It's pretty pretty easy um, like I said <clears throat> many different technicians wire them up different ways um, if there's any other ways feel free to drop a comment on below and um, I'll be curious to see but I've, I've seen a few different ways but this way right here like I said I've I've been doing this for eight years in the field and um, I've wired up all my package units like this, and I passed inspection every time. I never had an issue. A lot of the inspectors give you, I think, like thirty, either thirty seconds to a minute, 
wants his trip to shut down uh fan op you know they're just care they're just worried about the fan operation but we shut down everything here some guys end up putting an isolation relay with the actual blower to shut it down but to me that's just you know why do all the work when you can do this that'll do the same thing shut the system down um so yeah guys that's uh how i wire my four wire smoke detectors on commercial package unit or even commercial split systems uh, like or subscribe or comment below. Thanks.